students and parents have been busy gearing up for back to school with in person instruction resuming in Texas shopping for back to school supplies was a lot different this year than it was a year ago. As folks look for those last minute items scammers are hoping to take advantage. Joining us to tell us more on how to keep safe and keep from getting ripped off is Katie Galan with the Better Business Bureau. Katie, thank you for joining us. What is the BBB seeing when it comes to back to school scams? Hi, Paolo. Thank you for having me. So, you know, with us kind of basically still being in the same position we were last year as far as the pandemic goes, the students are also going back to school. So those scams, you know, it tend, there tends to be a real big uptick in them. Um, so last year, for instance, Texans lost between May and July of last year, Texans lost an average of about $50,000 per month on online scams. So that just kind of gives you a good idea of the prevalence of online scams and, and you know how much it's affecting people right here in the coastal bend. Hey, Katie, what tips do you have to keep Texans from losing their hard earned money? First things first is to just go around, check your home. You may have some extra, you know, pens, pencils, paper, binders, things like that. Um, also, if you're able to, uh, we also advise you to buy in bulk. If that's something that you're able to do, maybe you have multiple students in your household and in the long run that will end up saving you um, some money. Also, do your research if you're buying, maybe you have some, some children who are college students who are going away to school and they may be uh, living in a dorm or an apartment. So um, do your research before you buy any of those larger priced items. Katie, thank you for joining us and thank you for that warning. If you have a question or concern about a possible scam, product or business, log on to BBB.org for more.